So some say Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, whatever we're going with, is kind of phony because she can't even pronounce her own first name. It changes. But she'd like you to know that despite appearances, she does have some pretty deep principles. But we are united by the fundamental belief that every human being is of infinite worth, deserving of compassion, dignity, and respect. But there was a caveat, unstated at the time, that everyone deserves dignity and respect except the people who work for Kamala Harris. They don't get it. And now they're going on the record to explain. One staffer in her office, quote, had a sense of paranoia that you never knew when she was going to snap at you. Surprised to learn that? <laughs> Another said employees were, quote, so stressed out that they were making themselves sick. So Kamala Harris, champion of women, actually was marinating in a toxic stew of toxic masculinity. Jesse Kelly is sophisticated enough to understand what this is about. He's the host of The Jesse Kelly Show. He joins us tonight. Jesse, are you, thanks for coming on. Are you surprised to learn that Kamala Harris, if that's what she's going by, is like the worst boss in Washington and nasty to the people who work for her? It's the most predictable thing in the world, Tucker. Everybody watching you right now has worked for or worked yeah. with somebody who just has ambition just dripping off of their pores. And that's Kamala that's right. Harris. Those types of people will do anything to get ahead. They treat their bosses like crap. They treat their employees like crap. That's why she knifed Joe Biden in the debate with all that race nonsense. There was no need to do yeah. that. It's exactly. the same reason she cackles like a dead hyena every time she's asked an uncomfortable question. It's the same reason she started out her political career as Willie Brown's bratwurst bun. Kamala Harris will do anything to get ahead. <laughs> I got to say, when I look at her, I, I, you, can just, you can feel the fear. And false people are always afraid because they're terrified you'll find out who they really are. People who don't actually know how to pronounce their own first names or who grew up in Canada and pretend they didn't. She always seems like she's terrified of being exposed. Well, she doesn't believe in anything. And like you said, right. people without any grounding, they're really worried about getting called out on it. Kamala Harris is always painted as this far left winger. If Kamala Harris thought her political ambitions would do better on the right, Kamala Harris would be to the right of Barry Goldwater tomorrow. She believes in absolutely <laughs> nothing except for Kamala Harris. That's all she's ever been. And so any staffer, she doesn't look at them like people, like a secretary or an assistant. They're all just stepping stones she can stomp on on the way to the top job. But she'll be miserable there, too. As soon as they throw poor Joe out the back door and Kamala sits in the Oval Office, she'll hate that, too. She'll move on to something else. It would be funny. That is such a good point about going there. It'd be funny to, like, bribe her pollster to convince her that actually the one issue she could ride to national <laughs> prominence is, like, an attack on circumcision or something bizarre and obscure like oh. that and watch her give the impassioned speech. Oh, it she went, would. Oh, no, she was throwing people in prison all day long in California as this absolute ball-busting cop, throwing people in jail for, for anything she could possibly think of. And now she goes to the Senate. She's the most left-wing senator. This woman doesn't believe in anything except for achieving the next thing. And like I said, everybody watching is already thinking of somebody. They know someone in their life like that. They're always terrible people, universally. No, that's, you're absolutely right. We shouldn't pretend that she's especially unusual. You know her. Uh, Jesse Kelly, great to see you tonight. Thank you for doing that. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.